We're also gonna pick up some more baby wipes. Don't worry, you have enough for the day. And then we'll only be at Pierce's martial arts competition until- Honey, 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 don't worry. Polly can handle this. Call me, if there's any problem. Of course. Say bye bye, Pax. Bye, Polly. Bye, Pax. You get to spend the whole afternoon with me, Pax. Fun, huh? Okay, not fun. Don't cry. Don't cry. Here. What do you want? Um. Snackies. Fishy crackers? Do you think they're when I found out Vlad was a new houndstooth. This kid is losing it. <laughs> Don't worry, Polly. I researched the best toys for babies and I brought this. It is everything kids want. Keys, rattle, and animal noise machine. See, he loves it. I got this. Clearly Pax is crying because of his outfit. Look at him. I'd be crying if I was wearing that too. Wipe away those trendless tears. You're gonna be the most stylin' baby in the playpen. Come on, Paxi. You know you can hit the homer. Giddy up and go, little buddy. Stop the show. How do you not love the aquatic look? It's like totally in. Nothing's working. Maybe you should just call your mom and get her advice. No, if I call, they'll know it's not going smoothly and no Lulu Foo Foo for me. If we know how he's feeling, we'll know what to do. I swore I'd never take it off, but anything to stop the crying. <gasps> May the mood ring enlighten us. Hmm. That's agitated aquamarine? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. It's tense teal. I think it looks more like soul and sea foam. <laughs> Four out of five baby experts agree babies love novelty. Maybe we need to show him something so different from anything he's ever seen. Then he'll be happy. Shawnee, you're a genius. Guilty as charged. You ready to get your tiny on, little brother? <laughs> yeah. Tiny power. Something no one can prepare for. I love that this place never changes. I hear you, hun. Watch it! You'll burn your behinds. Grandma, you made it! I promised that I wouldn't miss another trip to Rocky Talkie. There's no time to waste. I want to hit the hot tub, then the skating rink, then the hot tub, then the ice sculpture exhibit, all before a relaxing sunset dip in the hot tub. <laughs> I like the way you think, Pierce. He's so cute. What's his name? Uh, Paxton. My baby brother. Oh, And you're coming with me. Hey, we're practically the same person. Genetics. I need to train for gold in the cold fest. Gotta work out the border cross kinks. I'll join you, Polly. Let's put on our winter duds and hit the powder. Yeah. Fair warning, I've seen some stiff competition around here. That's why I've been having some pocket-sized practice. Every year that we come here, I've watched the Gold in the Cold Fest and dreamed about winning the gold. Now that I'm old enough to compete, I'm gonna give it my all. Shawnee, having fun in the sun? Yes! I just saw two dolphins jump over a sailboat under a rainbow. I'm also having a marvelous time on my couch watching movies with Bonita. We just finished Quacknophobia, the heart-wrenching story of a boy and his fear of ducks. Ooh, I've been meaning to stream that. So, is the coaching staff almost ready for our first practice run? Indeed. Hold it. Show me the threads. Ooh, that's so sizzling. It might melt the snow. Thanks, Lila. Wish me luck. Check, mic on. Okay, let's do this. Uh, Grandma? Everything okay? Grandma? 
I, um... Lila, Shawnee, I'll call you back. Grandma? Uh, wouldn't you rather get some hot chocolate, dear? Sure, Grandma. Let's warm you up. <gasps> the gold in the cold fest trophy! Cool! Wait, is that you? Indeed it is. Two-time champ. But that was a long time ago. I can't believe you didn't tell me. Well, let's just say my last competition wasn't my best. I have an idea. Hey, Pierce, I have a coupon for a free cone at Big Bubba's. Your favorite. I'm listening. Did I mention the all-you-can-eat topping buffet? The one with the hot fudge fountain? Yep. And all you have to do is leave the house and go get yourself that free ice cream. Eh, no thanks. What? Why not? Because I can't leave the house, Polly. That would be irresponsible. You're obviously too young to understand. That's why Mom and Dad left me in charge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got TV to watch and... <laughs> did you see that? That was a huge spider. Where did he go? Get him. Get him! Oh, man, he was ginormous! <laughs> huh. I never realized you scare so easily. I'm going to Shawnee's for a bit. Okay, don't get into trouble or else I'll get in trouble. Got it! It's been tallied. Let's go live to City Hall. <sighs> what? <laughs> Someone there? <gasps> the hair on my neck is standing up. <gasps> Go big! Polly, you nailed it! Finally, we can shoot this movie. What do you say, director? Let's do this! And action! What is it now? Uh, you might want to come see this. That's Paranormal Patty. She's the best paranormal consultant around. Lots of potential pals for Pax. Teacher Jethro, your latest charge. Paxton Pocket. Preschool! Oh! Howdy, little dude. Let's get that bag into your cubby. Watch this one. Intelligence runs in his family. Mom's an aerospace engineer, Dad's an architect, and I hear his big brother has been accepted to Cosmopolitan City University. That's me! I have! Aww. This child might have superior talent in engineering, music, and art. All necessary to win us the award for all-around genius! An all-around genius would definitely become a pop star. And an all-around genius win would finally earn me the coveted title of all-around principal. Awesome. More than awesome, Jethro. It's my lifelong dream. Oh, groovy. Time to help Pax make some friends. <laughs> Walk up and introduce yourself, Pax. Me, Pax. Hi. Magnificent design, Sam. Stunning execution, Common. Ooh, Pax play. Oh, I think rock. Gotta help Pax make something cool. So he can be popular like these kids. So he can be on his way to winning All Around Genius. Right. Come on. Wait, All Around Genius? Ooh, Polly Pierce make housey. Housey? Huh? <laughs> Whoa! Sweet house, Pax man. Yes. <laughs> yellow, yellow! Uh -huh. It's just a bunch of yellow spots. This won't win.
win him all around genius, and then he'll never be a pop star. We gotta help. Right. Wait, pop star? You were right. This kid's got some of that genius stuff. Quick, Pierce, hide! <laughs> I finished another bucket, Pierce. I'm so gonna win this bet, and you're gonna do my chores. Nope, you're gonna be doing my chores, Polly. I picked so many apples, this farm is running out of buckets. And I did it without magical shrinking powers. <laughs> it's not my fault you're taller than me. Using the locket evens the odds so I can reach more. I'm just using all of my resources. Tallness happens to be one of them. <sighs> Give up, little sis. There's no way you're winning this one. Hey, watch it. Oops. I guess the apple really doesn't fall far from the tree. I'm way better at this fruit stuff. Oh, yeah? Speed round. I'll fill this next bucket before you. <laughs> Resources. Brains over brawn, brother. I have brawn and brains. Brawny brains, that's me. Well, you can keep your brawny brains because I have peaches. She loves me more. <laughs> As if. Who taught her how to do fun tricks like this? Up, sit, stay, pop. Up, hop, hop, hop. dead. Kerpow! <laughs> Ta da! Peaches is super smart, so she can learn tricks from anyone. But I'm the only one who takes her on amazing, tiny-powered adventures. Isn't that right, Peaches? Looks like there's only one way to settle this. For once, we agree. Yes. <laughs> okay, Peaches, we'll each throw a stick. You bring back whichever stick belongs to the person you love more. She means mine, because you definitely love me more. Ready, girl? <laughs> yeah, fetch! Mashing forever! Pierce, run into my study and grab the quarters on the left side of the right bookcase below the Argyle Award for Investigative Journalism. Uh, sure thing. <laughs> what did Richard say? I'm quite the numismatist. Uh-huh. Numismatists are coin collectors. In fact, I recently completed my collection of Littleton Mint's Misprint 6. For instance, one's head is off-center by a millimeter, and one has 37 ridges instead of 38. Really? Cool. Anyway, uh, they're valuable, but I'm in it for the joy of collecting. Above the award. Ah, and below the award. <laughs> High score, here I come. And... Yeah! <laughs> Extra life! Super! Get him! Gotcha! Back, vile Blutonian villain! Looks like I'm all out of quarters. I've got one. Let's make it count. One more round of pinball? Pinball is always a hoot. You kids go on, and I'll get us some snacks. Huh? Wait a minute, moment. You intend to put this exquisite specimen into a mere pinball machine? Yeah, dude. She said dibs. We're next. First, it's not dude, it's Chad. 
And secondly, this is one of the misprint six. Six glorious coins, each with a different, beautiful imperfection. Where did you get it? Numismatists are coin collectors. Blah, 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 misprint. Blah, blah, six, blah, 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 blah. blah. Pierce, where did you get this? From the study, like Richard said, over the turn or something. That's not what he said. Weren't you listening? I still found the jar and a few, maybe six-ish other quarters. These print six are within the bowels of these games. Oh, that set would fetch a fortune. Enough for me to open my petting zoo ice cream parlor. Seriously, dude? We heard your whole evil plan. Plan? There's no plan. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must continue plotting. I mean, working. Cheerio! You get the feeling that dude, Chad, right? Wants Richard's quarters? We have to get them back before he finds them! Timing power! <laughs> so, all we have to do is find five quarters, which could be in any of the games we played today. What did the collection look like? Oh, uh, I don't know, like, quarters? Hmm. Oh, Richard's the only one who knows what they look like. Right, Polly. Make sure he takes a nap this afternoon and call me if there's any problem. I got this, Mom. Don't worry. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to babysit Peaches, too. Come on, Peaches. It's lunchtime for everyone. You hungry, Pax? Open your mouth wide! Uh. Come on now, it's yummy! Okay, Pax, you win. Here's the spoon, but you better eat or... <laughs> Let's get you ready for a nap. Let's get you to bed. Let's see. Where's your teddy? <laughs> Come 
Come on, Pax, you need to sleep. Mom and Dad will be back soon. <laughs> I never thought that I'd use my locket to make you sleep. I think that you didn't close the door properly when we left. Sorry. So, how did it go? All good. He's napping. Great. Did you remember to feed Peaches as well? Yes, yes. She's all fed and happy. Uh... Peaches? Peaches? Where are you? 